peppercorn crusted steak with pimento creamed spinach. Okay, so I'm adding peppercorns and sugar to a plastic bag. And this is gonna be the crust on the steaks. So to crush them up, I just grab my trusty wooden rolling pin and just get out my frustrations. But I've been thinking ahead. And to save your ears, I already did it earlier. So I've got the peppercorns all crushed up. And for the steaks, I'm using Kansas City Strip. You can do ribeyes, you can do fillets, whatever kind of beef you happen to have at your disposal. And I'm gonna start with a good sprinkling of kosher salt. And then I'm gonna put half the peppercorn and sugar mixture on the tops of the steaks and kind of rub it in. And then I'll flip them over and do the same thing. Kosher salt and the rest of the peppercorn and sugar mixture. So I've got a hot iron skillet on the burner and I'm gonna put the steaks right in. Ooh, boy, oh boy. I love strip steaks for things like this because I'm gonna slice the steak and they slice up really beautifully. So I have a pan going with some butter and really finely diced onion. And I'm gonna wilt a whole bunch of spinach and that is why I'm using this enormous, enormous pan. <laughs> Can you believe it? But the whole thing about creamed spinach is the spinach is wilted. And so you have to start with basically a mountain of spinach to have enough cream spinach to serve, you know, four or five people. All right, Alex, take a look at this spinach. <laughs> it's shrunk. All right, so I'm gonna let that keep wilting and I'm gonna turn the steaks. Wow. How do they look? Amazing. So good. Shoot. I wouldn't say they're exactly crusted, but they're nicely seasoned. They look pretty crusted. No, they look good. Okay, so for the cream spinach, I basically cut a block of cream cheese into cubes. And then I wanted to spread off the spinach just so that cream cheese will hit the bottom of that pan and really start to soften. And to help it along, I'm gonna add some half and half, just a little bit, along with some garlic that I was supposed to add to the spinach earlier but we won't tell anyone. It'll just be a lot more strong this way. Okay. Oh gosh, that cream cheese is just automatically softening. Look at this, Alex. It's meery and wonderful. And it doesn't take a lot of cream cheese and half and half to turn it into a creamy spinach wow. kind of situation. It looks so good. Okay, and then I wanted to add pimentos to this Whoa. cream spinach. Page, hush. <laughs> Just to give it a little pop of color. You won't even know they're there, Paige, I promise. Yes, I will. All right. All right, this is just gonna keep getting softer and softer and better. I sprinkle in some more salt and pepper, just for good measure. And a little pinch of nutmeg, which, trust me, you will miss if it's not in there. Ooh, delicious. Okay, so I think it is time to take the steaks out of the pan. Okay, I've got my platter, I've got my knife, and I'm not afraid to use either of them. I'm gonna slice the steaks. Okay, so to serve, I'm gonna give this beautiful cream spinach one more big stir, and then I'm just gonna use the tongs to make a big old bed. I mean, this is the kind of bed I wanna sleep in. Think how, think how good this is for you too. I mean, so much spinach. All right, check it out. Wow. <laughs> Look how gorgeous. Okay, God, that's a lot of steak. All right, peppercorn crusted steaks, cream spinach with pimentos, easy, elegant, and so incredible. Holy, holy, it's holy.